Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. Uh, today it's on how to apply shadows onto your composition. Okay, it's just a simple and quick tutorial. There's different techniques to creating shadows. Uh, the one I'm going to show today is the one uh, that I like to do. And I just want to say my, my style of how I like to make my uh, compositions and my match day posters and stuff and my sports posters. Okay, I like them to look realistic, but at the same time, I like them to look like the Photoshop. So, take that just with a pinch of salt. Uh, like I said, there's different ways to do it, and this is just one of them. Okay, so we've got this ball here. Uh, doesn't look very realistic in terms of it. it's just plonked down. Okay, you can see it's just it's just there on the grass. Okay, but with a few little techniques. Okay. It does look like it's uh, it's blended in a lot better. Okay, so without further ado, I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm just going to get rid of these layers over on the uh, layers layers panel, and we're going to get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer underneath the ball and above the background. Okay, and I'm going to change the bend mode to soft light. Okay, I'm going to make sure I've got black selected over here on my palette. I'm going to hit B for the brush tool. I'm going to make sure I've got my flow and my opacity up to 100. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, and I'm just going to paint on where the ball is touching the grass. Okay, so this is, I've seen it on quite a lot of people to talk about it. They call it the, uh, the contact. The contact shadow, okay, and then there we go. Okay, next I'm going to apply another layer, and going to change the blend mode again to soft light. Okay, and this is going to be uh, like an ambient shadow. And again, I just zoom in a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to command Z get rid of that. Sorry, apologies. Okay, drop the flow right down. I'm going to. See what it looks like around 15%. It's looking a little bit better. It's just darkening the shadow. Okay, what you can do is, as well, uh, on the side I have a set up with my brush, okay, and my brush presets. If you don't see them, hit window up on the, the top and just come down. And they're just in, just in here, so I've got, got them on show. Okay, you can change the shape. And you can you can make it uh, like an like an oblong. Okay, so that's just uh, an example of how you can uh, shape your brush. Anyway, I digress. Okay, so we've got like uh, we've got a small ambient shadow. Okay, we've got uh, a contact shadow, if you will. Okay, now we're going to put in the uh, the main shadow. So again, you can just create another layer. Hit the brush tool, okay, and then you can you can just paint in a shadow, okay. What I'm going to do for this one though is I'm going to make a copy of the ball. So I'm going to on a Mac Command J, or you can just simply drag it down onto the new layer there. Okay, the ball underneath, okay. I'm going to go to Image at the top. I'm going to go to Adjustments. I'm going to then go to Hue Saturation, and the lightness. I'm just going to drop down to minus 100. And click OK. Okay, so now this layer is underneath. We've got this. We've got this black ball there. Okay, so make sure it's uh, selected. Okay, press Command T. Okay, and then with your with your mouse hover over it, right click, double click. I'm going to click Distort. And as you can see where the ball's placed, look at the light source where it's coming from. Okay, and I'm just going to drop the ball there. Bring it in underneath. Okay, you just play around with it. Click distort again. And for this one, I'm just gonna. There we go. Okay, because there's two light sources on this image, uh, I think if you're making these sports compositions, think about the stadium lights, okay? We're gonna have to make another copy. So I'm just gonna, instead of press Command J this time, I'm just gonna drag it down over to the new layer and it's doubled it up there. So select one of the uh, one of the copies. 
So Command T, and then I'm just going to click double click, and for this one I'm just going to flip horizontal. Okay, and I'm just going to drag it across. Hit OK. So now we've got a shadow from this light source, and we've got a shadow from this light source. And with these two layers, I'm just going to move them uh, below our initial shadows. Okay, and again, with these two blend modes, uh, I'm going to merge them, just for this example. So, merge layers, So, uh, and I'm going to change it to soft light as well. Okay, so again, you can still see that it's... Uh, it's not quite perfect, okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now is you can play with the opacity as well, whichever, how, whatever the strength you would like, okay, but all I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to create it to a smart object, double click there, where are you? convert to smart object, there we go, found, found you in the end. Okay, I'm going to go up to Filter, I'm going to Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And you see that I've already done it from the previous uh, composition. I'm going to choose four pixels. Okay, but again, you play play around with it however you, however you choose. Uh, okay, you could choose seven. Let's see, what's, see what five looks like. Okay, I'm, I'll go with 4.5. And... Mr. Preview, you can see how it changes there, and it looks a lot. It looks a lot better. Okay, and when you look at shadows as well, you notice uh, towards the uh, towards the end, they do tail off. They're not the they're not the same strength all the way. So, all I'm going to do on this one is create a layer mask. Okay, hit the brush tool. Make sure I've got the black selected, and I'm going to. Drop the flow down to 10. I'm just going to make it quite big. I'm using a soft brush as well. Sorry, soft brush. I'm just going to paint away top the shadows. And you can just work it down 1%. It will, it will make a difference. Something you could also do as well, so uh, this smart filter, okay, so it's a layer mask for the smart filter, okay, We've got the, the black selected, and we can just take away a little bit of the blurring at the foot of the shadow. So it's looking good, as I uh, always usually say, and just to give it a little bit more, okay, so we're going to go uh, select the ball layer, Okay, and I'm going to create a layer over the top of it. Now you can either right click and create a clipping mask, or you can hold Alt on a Mac. Okay, just hover here, and you'll see this icon appear, and uh, it'll interact with the layer. So what, what this means is now, when we paint on this ball, it'll only paint on the ball and not the surrounding pixels, okay? So black's still selected, and I'm going to bump the flow up to 3%, and I'm just going to paint the bottom of the ball so you can see there I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger you can drop the flow down okay and it gives it a small small brings it from like the, the 2d 2d spectrum to the 3d spectrum and I'm going to create another layer over the top of that I'm going to create a clipping mask I'm going to change it to white so you can even hit X on my key or this this arrow here Okay, and I'm just going to paint some light over the top of the ball, just where it's reflecting and across the top. And I think a little bit more. And just to give it a little bit more that initial contact I'm just going to lower that opacity down to around 60% and there we go though those how we've created a uh, 
a realistic looking ball on your manipulations. If you just take these layers away, you can see how it's changed and it's just that simple. You can apply this to uh, players or objects on different compositions. Obviously it's not it's not limited to sports, but just want to give an example of a football nice and quick sharp tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit subscribe, hit like, really appreciate it. I just like people uh, to learn Photoshop and uh, find resources that I didn't have when I was learning. Thanks a lot. See you next time.